Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Makeup and Motivation. I am just excited to bring you, are you ready, drum roll? All things Fenty. I am bringing you my favorite, my OG favorite Fenty products of all time. Something that I've grown to love, something that I think you need to be put on to if you're not already put on to. And of course, we're going to sprinkle in a little girl chat. I wouldn't be more motivation if I didn't motivate you while we beat in our face. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. So let's get right into it. We are going to prime our faces with one of my favorite Fenty primers. It is all dirty and ugly looking, but um, yeah, my favorite primer is the Hydrating Pro Filter Primer. So we're going to prime our face with this. Prime, prime, prime. Oh, you know what I forgot, y'all? I need to moisturize. This should have been before the primer. But I'll just put a little bit of this on. So this is also one of my OG face, Fenty Skin Hydra Visor um, Moisturizer. So mixing this with the hydrating foundation. OG, okay? Like, so if you have dry skin like I do, because I have OD dry skin, this is very beneficial so just gonna put that on the perimeter i've already done my brows i mean i had an okay brow day but they'll look better once i have the rest of my makeup on mm -hmm. all right we are all hydrated and primed okay now of course my favorite Fenty foundation right now. I think this is better even than the matte foundation. And as you can see, I'm literally almost done. Is the Fenty Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Love this stuff. Love it. So while we're squirting this on and getting it ready for the skin, let's talk about some stuff, y'all. So did y'all see the... Keisha Cole and Ashanti versus. Let's talk about it in the comments because, child, that was the most ghetto fabulous, just funniest, most ridiculous, most entertaining verses that I've ever seen in the history of verses. Not only were as as America, as we were annoyed enough by the fact that they made us wait so long for this verses. Because it's been postponed, rescheduled so many times. Not only was that like the biggest thing, but the fact that we waited long for the verses and then y'all got the nerve to be literally just about two hours late before the thing even started. The thing post started at eight. Y'all didn't really get started until like 9.45, almost 10. Like that is ridiculous. And then I saw that they, uh, that some of the blogs were saying, or one of the DJs was defending Keisha and was saying it was because her, the video wasn't right. I'm like, girl, that is not an excuse because we still saw you very clear when you came out. So I'm sorry. The least you could have did is came out if you was there on time and say, you know what, guys, I apologize for the inconvenience. You came there, didn't even apologize for being late. Shanti was late too. We're not going to give Shanti a pass. She was still late too. And I just, I blame the whole production of Versus. I don't know if Swizz is over that. I don't know if Timberland. I don't know who's over, who needs to be blamed for why things don't work on time with Versus lately. Because even the Jeezy and Gucci Versus was late. Like, y'all just think that just because we had our house that we, you, you shouldn't respect our time? You don't, you don't think you should respect our time? We the one tuning in. You should respect our time. So... I felt a little insulted that they didn't think it was important to be there on time. 
not just with anything in life if you tell us eight o'clock be there at eight o'clock if you don't want to tell us if you're not gonna be there at eight o'clock tell us nine o'clock you know set our you know put us up right because there's a lot of people who plan parties around this who literally are like it's just disrespectful bottom line so that just really turned me off now ashanti as much as I'm more of a Ashanti fan than I am Keisha Cole, Ashanti genuinely surprised me vocally. For her to give the little ad-libs that she gave uh, vocally, I was so proud of her. Like, she sounded good for the little ad-libs she was giving. And she, Ashanti was classy. She was not going to, we was not going to try her. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty 380. I'm using under my eyes. Now, another shade that I love is 420 for like, because that's actually my foundation shade. I actually like 420 in the concealer more than I like it like as a foundation. I, more than I like the foundation version of 420, if that makes sense. Like, there's something about this concealer as a foundation lit. Andrea Renee put me on like. I got to I got to tell y'all who put me on. But yeah. But what was I saying? So, Shanti surprised me vocally that I was like, "Okay, sis. Remind us that you got a little bit of a voice up in the, you know, you ain't all just good looks and and, and writing skills." So, I was just like, "Okay, okay, Shanti, I see you, girl. I see you." So yeah, that was just, that was nice to see her winning. Like, granted, don't get me wrong, Keisha has a full catalog. Like, I was singing along to Keisha just as much as I was singing along to Ashanti. Like, granted, I listened to both of them over the years just about the same. I feel like I, as on a personal level, I feel like I can connect and relate more to Ashanti. But genuinely, I respect and love Keisha Cole's music. Her, her music has got me through some hard times over the years, especially with, you know, these fools, these boys that, you know, we used to, that we used to play games with back in the day. So, y'all realize this whole time I've been using my camera as a mirror, as if I don't have a mirror? What is wrong with me? <laughs> That would be a cool challenge. Use your camera as a mirror and see if your makeup comes out good. I have no clue. I ju I'm just not realizing it as I'm talking and going through these steps. I'm also fighting against my lighting about to go away because here in Fort Lauderdale, it's almost um, it's almost five o'clock. Which the lighting, we lose our lighting. Yeah, the verses was very. It was pleasantly good it had good moments and i love keisha she had good moments too but just her whole demeanor was annoying me and granted i'm pretty sure she went through a lot behind the scenes but sis give us give us the best of you you know what i mean like the one thing about production and show business is nobody cares about how you what it took to get you on the stage they just share the care that you show up and you show up in the greatest way I'm just over these little tiny screens that we have to look at this versus on like these girls be having looks and outfits that we need to full see like we want to see the whole thing why y'all confining us to this little baby screen you know and i guess you can look at it in a better view on apple music but they just need to come up with a better video angles with versus you know, like, technology is way too advanced for us to just be stuck to this little box on our phones. Like, it should be a way better angle. They need to start with actual stage next time so we can see a better angle, in my opinion. And have a video crew to move the camera around, not just have it stuck in one spot the whole three hours that we waiting for this, the end, okay? Just saying. Sorry if, if y'all felt my passion, because that's how annoyed they be getting me with these verses. Um, now we're going to set that with some powder. So my OG favorite Fenty powder is the Honey. Honey. So for my complexion, if you're 420, if you're my shade, this is the perfect baking powder to set with. The perfect one. Now, one thing I'll tell you about the Fenty Instant uh, Retouch Setting Powder. 
is that you cannot bake this for too long because your under eye will dry. I made that mistake. So if you're going to bake with this, only bake with this for just a little. Literally so much just poured all over my jeans. <sighs> if you're going to bake with this, make sure that you are that you don't leave this on for long because you don't want your under eye being a Sahara desert. And that's why we prime really good when you use. That's my only thing I'm not a big fan of with this is that I can't bake for long because this stuff will get real dry under your eyes if you let it sit for too long. So we dab it in and I um, got a damp beauty blender. We dab, dab, dab. And so a technique I learned from Jackie Anna you once you you dab it on your hand because you don't want so much powder going on to your first um going on to set your concealer you want it to be more like evened out so and then let me get my mirror because child who am i who do i think i am trying to use my phone as a mirror okay and let's set all that and we want to press that is the key with setting any concealer, especially wet concealer. You want to press. And then you see the difference? Huge difference. And we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. Press, press, press. Okay. Press, press, press. Another uh, version of Motivational Girl Chat is I want to get into this because I actually have a podcast on this. I'm going to link it below so you can listen to the full episode. But I really want to talk about like what you guys' perspective is with the whole Sears Prayer versus Lori's Finesse you know, topic. I talk about it a little bit more extensively in my podcast, but just want to give you guys my own little version on this is that I think you should have both. I think you should incorporate your own prayer to God about what it is that you're looking for in a partner, but you should have some Lori energy up in there because you should give yourself options. I know a lot of people give Lori slack for, you know, having had dated a lot of high profile men and, you know, being in a position, you know, a lot of us, some people, let's just be honest, they just hate on her because sis is cute. She's beautiful. So a lot of people hate on her just for the fact that she's beautiful. But genuinely i think you should have options i don't think you're a, a hoe for having options i don't think there's something wrong with you for having options i think you should have options the only thing that you can mess yourself up on is that when you don't have an end goal when you just dating dating for for so many different type of men for so long and then you don't pause yourself and say hey what's the end goal here is the end goal that i find the right person to settle down with or am I just literally just looking for a good time and somebody to entertain me you know there has to be an end goal because if there's not you're gonna mess around and have yourself exhausted from being attached to so many different souls in a small amount of time just just my opinion not saying that that's what's Lori doing now what I love about Lori and this is me not even knowing a whole lot about her. I love the fact that we really don't know a whole lot. We think we know a whole lot, but we really don't. I like that. I like that you really don't know how her first engagement ended. You know, the one that was like the first time I really got introduced to her when she was um, engaged to that soccer player. We don't know what happened with her in future. We don't know what happened with her in Trey songs. Like, we don't know what happened with her with any of her exes that that she used to you know be public with i think it looks bad to the public because it's like you actually posted pictures with them they was on your page you know so clearly you wanted us to know that you're dating them what was the point of that i'm pretty sure some people are thinking about it that way but bottom line 
we really don't know how to end it. Like, none of her breakups were messy to the point where, you know, I don't know if they was uh, signing NDAs. Because <laughs> if you date a Harvey, I don't know if it's one of those things that, oh, you, you can't speak about us at all once it's over. I don't know if it was that type of level. But bottom line is, she was able to exit every relationship without it being messy in the media, I should say, as far as our knowledge. It could have been messy behind the scenes, but we did, we really didn't get the tea on what really happened with any of us. And I love that. I think if you're going to date around, you better make sure that the your privacy is intact. You know, that's important. But I just think she's a beautiful, unproblematic um girl who's in her early 20s and living her best life now i ain't gonna lie i'm a little sad that she just she took michael b jordan from us because that was like collectively a lot of our men's i know a lot of us are sharing michael b jordan as our men secretly in our mind so when we saw lori with michael we was just in denial that you know she really took him but I think they are so gorgeous. I think they're gorgeous. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, they're not going to last long. I think they're a gorgeous couple. I think Sierra and Russell are a gorgeous couple. I think any celebrity couple are a gorgeous couple. But the bottom line is never look at any celebrity couple and say goals or say, I want that. You know, I wish I had that. I wish a guy would look at me how michael looks at Lori, or or russell looks at sierra like never look at how people portray their relationship to be on the gram and try to aspire for that aspire for exactly what your goals are be your own goals be your own cuteness be your own whatever it is that you're seeing other people exude in their relationship because when you do that you allow yourself to just follow the organic flow of how your life should be. Your life shouldn't be like anybody else's but yours, you know? And you should love your life more than you obsess over somebody else's. Because that's just better for your mental health. So we're going to set all over with the Fenty. This is the newest one. Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I'm in the shade 410. And I use this actually as a regular foundation. Um, so I can show you guys a different video on how I do that. It's like a quick going to work routine and you don't have a whole lot of time to put on a, a lot of makeup. Then I would use this as my regular foundation, but we're going to use it to set all over while this bakes. And again, I shouldn't have this baking for long. So let's set all over. We want to really get into this. You see that? You see how that just blurred the whole hydrating? Because mind you, I'm using the Fenty Hydrating Foundation. So that foundation is very dewy. So if you're a matte girl like me, you really want to set it good. Like real good. You want to get in it good, good. So, yeah. But I think they're super cute. I ain't got time to be hating on those celebrities that I probably will never meet or know. Let me actually stop saying that because you never know. I, I will. I know I'm going to be an important person one day, so I'm not going to say I'm never going to meet them. So just to set the, you know, my eye from being so oily before I put some shadow on it, just going to take that, that foundation and just, just a tip for all of you if you have very oily lids like me, just always use a powder foundation to set it real good. Or you can use setting powder too. It all works well. It all works well. Now this is gonna be a natural beat, y'all. I'm just showing y'all my favorite Fenty products. I'm not doing like no crazy glam look. So hopefully that's not what you're expecting. <laughs> now guys, I'm so excited because today I went and looked at possible places to live and I'm so excited because I can't believe that I'm almost going to be a homeowner. I'm super excited. Um, now, it's still in the beginning stages, so I don't have too many details to tell you guys because that would be too premature of me, but I'm just excited that this is really happening. Like, Obviously, you guys don't know my story, but I've been living with my parents for a long time to save up to be able to afford to to get a place 
and now that it's finally happening and I'm almost 30 like it's just a full circle moment that you know I was patient you know I was very patient I didn't I didn't want to rent and, and waste a bunch of money renting I said look I am going to save up money I'm going to use this time staying at my parents because I could afford to rent but to me it was a waste of money so the fact that I'm in a position where I can now go out and get my own place, like it, it's just, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed to be in this position. Um, super blessed. So now our base is perfection. Now it's time to jazz it up. So y'all pray for me as I go through this, you know, beginning stages of looking and deciding Y'all pray for me to have the best wisdom in this process because um, I'm excited. So we're going to bronze. This is like my OG favorite Fenty product. One of my favorites is Coconati Sunstalker Bronzer. Now, I love this bronzer. As you can see, it gets very used. The only thing I would say is because of my skin tone, this is the reason why I chose it. It's a very subtle bronzer. What I will probably do is try Mocha Mommy because I actually want to see the bronzer a little bit more. With this, you got to really get in there in order for it to show up, like, to be obvious. So this is very subtle, which is not bad because I'm more of a natural makeup type of girl. So I don't mind it to be subtle, but I think I actually want to try the darker shade just to see how it would look on me. So it's not going to be that drastic. You're not going to be able to see a drastic difference, but it's subtle. You'll see it in person more, if anything. It's a subtle, you know, just a subtle little situation. And I don't take a lot because I don't feel like I need to contour or bronze that much. I don't, I don't really need a lot. Mm-hmm. Just to put some warmth back in the skin. Now, so this is what I'm about to do for my shadow, guys. So, this is when I normally would just use my regular eyeshadow palettes. For whatever reason, I still have not bought any of the Fenty eyeshadows. I don't know why I haven't tried them. I'm I'm curious to try the Snap Shadows, but for whatever reason, I just haven't gotten into her eyeshadows. Everything else I love from her collection, but the eyeshadows I haven't gotten myself to buy. So, I will do an updated routine where I show you guys a Fenty version, eyeshadow version. But for now, this is how I normally do my everyday routine. I usually use the bronzer that I just bronze my cheeks with. I use this as a shadow. And I tell you, it looks so good. So, it, especially on dark skin, we have like a really nice chocolate uh, bronzed eye. It's just, it looks so good on, on my skin tone. So, And it adds depth and dimension to my to my eye it takes my eye from basic to baboon so you gotta pack it on there so you really see it but it looks the finish is like so much worth it and it's like why do you even need regular eyeshadow when you got bronzer shadow that's why i love fancy products because they're versatile you can use them for so many different things like you really can Mm-hmm. Y'all see the difference? My eyes looking very bronzed. Uh, I just want to blend that out so it don't look so harsh. inner corner highlight i'm about to use one of my favorite fancy highlighters the trophy wife kilowatt love this as inner corner like it's one of the best inner corners to use so the main thing i would say ladies is keep allowing yourself to aim higher for what you will allow 
and what you deserve. That's something I will consistently use using my brand to promote is women going after what they deserve. Don't stay in situations that depreciate your value and that put you in a position where you are not able to elevate individually. Like no man, no friend, no anybody in your life should be putting you in a position where you're going backwards to where you are getting less than what you know you deserve. And the only way that I was able to discover doing that for myself is I had to get in line and in touch with who God says I am, what he thinks about me. I had to literally study and and really experience God's love for me so that way I would not keep accepting less than what I deserve. Because many of you get in touch with your savior, your heavenly father, you will not allow yourself to keep accepting less than what you deserve. And so I really, my biggest prayer for anybody watching this is that 2021, you are going to be perfectly okay from walking away from situations, people, environments that no longer serve you and that have held you back for way too long. And you're going to be okay with walking away from it because you finally see the light. You finally realize, like, I don't deserve this. I deserve so much more. My life is life is short. Life is too valuable for me to spend my time, you know, wasting it on this guy that don't care crap about me. And he knows that I'm valuable, but he also knows that I'm, I'm too, I'm being too dumb to realize it you know there's a lot of guys that will stay in your life knowing they don't deserve you but they'll stay in your life because they know that they can get away with it at the in that season so don't let them get away with it anymore time to take the trash out man we just want to dab because this this highlight is strong thank you a little goes a long way you don't want to overdo it with this it will one thing about this highlighter especially when it first came out is that a lot of people was just overdoing it and it wasn't necessary to overdo it like it just wasn't necessary you need to overdo it because this stuff is like as you can see very strong now take a little bit of the hustler baby kilowatt which is literally about done take a little bit of that because that's also one of my favorite highlighters from fenty it's a hustler baby just take a little bit of that on the nose because it's so cute yeah so i am believing that you guys are going to flow in top tier energy in 2021 like you are top tier you need to remind yourself that you are top tier and that nobody and i say nobody deserves to live a life less than top tier like you need to keep that top tier energy going in your life because it will allow you to keep reminding yourself who the heck you are because sometimes you gotta you gotta you gotta literally learn how to treat try to teach people how to treat you you really do because one thing about me that i've done in the past is that i would i, I wasn't realizing i was a i was teaching guys to treat me poorly because of what i was allowing them to get away with i wasn't teaching them to treat me properly i was teaching them treat me poorly because i was letting them think that they can get away with you know coming at me any kind of way so now that i ain't on that no more they had to get the step in so we are about to use the my one of my favorite mascaras the fenty full frontal mascara i love this stuff and we about to get in them eyes, child. I have to really focus. I'm probably gonna be making some ugly faces. 
of doing this mascara, but y'all just, y'all just enjoy it, okay? I'm just a fan of natural eyes with a little bit of inner corner highlight and balm mascara, especially since I don't really wear lashes no more. Because of what, what we need to do with lashes and the pandemic. I'm telling y'all, like, my makeup routine is so different post, you know, since this pandemic has started. Because I know that, like, I'm not going anywhere that deserves, like, a full lash. Like, how I used to put on lashes. Because to put on lashes for me is, like, a full, like a, a long, a big job. Look how difference did that make. Don't sleep on that full frontal mascara. Y'all see the difference? Y'all see it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just like, I don't I don't be wanting that to spend all that time putting on lashes, doing all this stuff when half of my face is about to be covered by a mask. Like, it's just not the tea. Like, my whole makeup routine is just so different because I, I have to put into account that I'm about to cover all of this beauty with a whole mask, okay? It's just very frustrating. And if any of you have lost anyone to COVID, my prayers are with you. I'm just believing God that we are gonna finally have a break in this pandemic. Like, I don't know when that's gonna happen. It could be not until 2022, who freaking knows? But I'm just really believing God it's gonna work out because this pandemic is truly the ghetto. So I'm just believing that you guys are going to be owning properties in 2021. Um, that you're going to have businesses that are going to be flourishing. I'm believing that you're going to be stepping into careers that's going to take you to the next level. I'm believing that you're going to step into multiple assets. I'm just believing that all of us are going to be in our bag this year. Because if that's if one thing about this pandemic is taught me to be more business minded and to really capitalize my gifts into assets. So let's do the lip. Now for lip, we are gonna do a purple moment. Why am I always making such a mess when I do my makeup? Like if y'all could see how destructive my space is right now. Okay, let's get it in for my the sun to go down. Y'all see the sun about to go down on me? Let's get it. No, oh, this lipstick, you got to be careful because a little goes a long way. You don't need a lot of product. It's a moment, honey. So, I hope you like my full face Fenty tutorial. Hope you gained a little bit of tips. I hope you enjoyed a little girl chat and rant that you know i love to have on my makeup videos because i just feel like why not catch a word while we're doing our makeup together like why not let me know in the comments what your favorite fenty beauty products are because maybe you love some stuff that probably i need to pay attention to more of but these are just some of my og favorites i have more fenty stuff but these are just like my top tier Fenty products that I love but how does she look I know this lip is a lot because y'all like wait where are you going with this purple lip but to be honest with you I was looking for the gloss balm cream that I just bought and I cannot find it um so I was gonna wear that because I I usually never wear bold lips anymore because like my lips are covered pandemic um so I usually do not go for a bold lip. And I was like, for the sake of the video, and because I actually really, really love this product, I was like, why not just do it for the video? How do you like it? How do we like her? Is it a moment? Is she a moment? <laughs> mm. Is she a moment, guys? Just 
for my last minute touch ups. She's a moment for sure. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at more motivation, M O O R E R motivation. Let me know what more videos you want to see from me. Um, because I did an Instagram poll and apparently a lot of you love when I do makeup tutorials. So I was like, you might as well give the people what they want. Um, yeah, let's chit chat. Make sure you follow my podcast at fill the cup podcast and make sure you subscribe. Join the family. Why not? You made it to the end of the video. You might as well join the MM family. Love you guys. How y'all like it? It's that golden hour lighting. When the lighting is like almost about to go down.